and we back. There's been a lot of conversations about the 90s era of basketball recently. And personally, I don't agree with it. I'm not done with the 90s, but I will turn it into a really cool YouTube video. So I took the top 10 player of the 2023-2024 NBA season and plopped them into the Jordan era of 2K, 1991. And let's see if the current NBA players could dominate the 1990s. If you're wondering what happened in the 1992 NBA Finals, Clyde Drexler ended up beating the Cavs. Uh, MJ, I've said it, by, by, by an 18? Hmm, not very cash money of you. All right, so uh, let's see exactly how this is gonna work. Now, I didn't take, I didn't take the rookie version of the, no, I wanted to see them jump in the 90s right now. So let's see the draft lottery. Um, the Magic have the highest odds. Now, this is the draft of Shaquille O'Neal. So the Magic ended up winning this draft class in real life. Will they win it here? The answer is no, the Pacers do. Will they take Luka? Will they take Yoke? Will they take Embiid? Like, I took the top 10 players based on 2K ratings, okay? So if you're like Kenny, that player is not top 10. Blame 2K. Always got to put the blame somewhere else. Do not come at me in my comment section saying this player not top 10 because 2K said they top 10, okay? First overall pick in the 1992 NBA draft, the Indiana Pacers select Luka Doncic. The second overall pick, the Dallas Mavericks select Joel Embiid. The third overall pick, the Orlando Magic select Giannis Antetokounmpo. The fourth overall pick, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Shea Gilgis Alexander. Okay, all right. The fifth overall pick, the Philadelphia 76ers select LeBron. <laughs> hey, the fifth overall pick, they drafted a man that's 39. He might be out of the league next year, but they said, forget it, we got Braun. The sixth overall pick, the Sacramento Kings select Nikola Jokic. He fell all the way to six, man. The seventh overall pick, the Milwaukee Bucks select Kevin Durant. Now, Denver has eight and ten. They walk out of here on champs. Oh, actually, it's 11 players because there's two players tied at 94 overall. So it's 11 players in this draft last, not 10. Sorry. The Denver Nuggets with their first pick select Wardell Stephen Curry Jr. The Miami Heat select Anthony Davis. And the last guy is Jason Tatum, I think. It is Jason Tatum. So Steph Curry and Jason Tatum, the Denver Nuggets already look like an elite level team. Oh, Devin Booker's here too. Oh my God. Oh, 11 picks. Duh. Shout out to Book. He's a clipper. And then Shaq is a piston, um, and so on and so forth. Alonzo Morton. Actually, this is actually not a bad draft class, but those dudes came in as rookies, and these guys come in as not rookies. Now, the first thing you're going to notice um, is that when you go to overall players, there's only 199, that's Michael Jordan, and then 95 is the next best player. So if you look at the rookies that are signing, most of these dudes, if not all of these dudes, come in immediately are the, like, the second to third best player in the association. It's not ideal if you're a fan of the 90s, but... Uh, it, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna go to the start of the next season. Let's see who has the best who has the best thing. Could these players dominate? Could they dominate the 1990s? We're about to find out. So here's team in Intel. Um, we know that Nicole Jokic is playing alongside Spud Webb. Oh my god, that's kind of cool. The Magic have Giannis with, with D3, Nick Anderson. Uh, they don't have Penny Hardaway, but that's that's okay. The Dallas Mavericks have Derek Harper and Ronaldo uh, Blackman with Joel Embiid. Steph Curry, Jason Tatum, Dikembe Mutombo is immediately coming in as the league favorite, right? Steph Curry, Jason Tatum, Dikembe Mutombo, and they even got Mahmoud abdul Raul. I'd never know how to pronounce it, but the, they call him the Steph Curry before the Steph Curry. So they're on the same team. Now, 6-1 and 6-2 backcourt, but you got Dikembe Mutombo on the backside. On the, no, 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 you're going to be all right. Luka has Rick Smith's deadlift strength. That's actually not a bad team. It's weird to see Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumars, Dennis Rodman, and Shaq on the same team. Shaq on that team? Come on, man. Come on, man. That's insane. Shea is, is playing with Sam Mitchell and stuff, so that's not ideal if you're a Shea fan. Uh, they don't really got a they don't really got a lot going on right now. But LeBron James, I thought that was B, let's say B Russell. I thought that had to be Bill, but it's Bruno. He's playing with Bruno. Around here we don't talk about Bruno. God, can you tell I'm a dad now? I just made an Encanto joke. Uh, Kevin Durant is playing with Dale Ellis and a old old Moses Malone. MJ still has Scotty. 
Um, but that Will Purdue is their starting center. He's got to go through Jokic and Joel Embiid and stuff. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough time if you ask me. Book is playing with Ron Harper. I kind of like that backcourt, man. I kind of like that backcourt. Anthony Davis with Michael Williams. I, I I won't lie to you. It's that M Williams, and I cannot put my finger on who that is. It's Michael Williams. They got Glenn Rice. Uh, they got G Long, who is Grant Long, a player that I don't recognize. So we learn the stuff right now. Um, and that's it. And that's everybody, ain't it? Yeah, that's everybody. All right. The first year would one of our 2024 players win the award? The MVP, the championship, the finals MVP. Can they dominate the 90s? That's one point for team 90s. Clad Drexler takes the MVP. Luca wins rookie of the year. Bimbo Coles wins six man of the year. David Robinson wins DPOY. Another win for the 90s, if you ask me. And yeah, let's see. How many uh, 2024 players are going to make all the NBA? Let's see. Um, one, two, three, dang. <laughs> Four out of the five are 2024. Um, six. Okay, all right, yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's five to five right now. Because only Shea is here. Shea, Michael Jordan is on the second team, by the way. Luca and Clyde Drexler have better seasons than Michael Jordan. So right now it is tied five to five going into the third team. It can't be tied at the end of it. We have all 90s players. Wow, the 90s held it down. Of the 15 best players in basketball positions, whatever, whatever, 10 of them, 10 of them are from the 90s. Now, defensive teams, you do see Giannis and Shea make it, and that's it. But wow, how elite is that? How elite is that? Um, I'm here for that. Who makes the playoffs who didn't now? Now, we do see, I want to see if we have some cool matchups. I want to see Braun versus uh, Jordan. I don't even remember what team Braun is on. Is it the Pacers? Maybe it is. We just need them to get out of the first round. Let's see if they do. Some teams are losing. Um, oh, things have shifted, ladies and gentlemen. It is now a seven-game series instead of a, a five-game series in the first round. Wait, no, 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 no. It's still five. It's still five. Sorry. It is still five. Oh, this is Luka's team up top. The Cavs have nobody um that we care about at least seattle doesn't have anybody we care about the lakers i'm pretty sure don't have anybody either they just have their real team and that team is elite and that the bulls make it the bulls do make it okay um i was a little afraid because it's the same team that upset them last year but they make it happen and now our second round is set in the second there it is the portland Trail Blazers do get you can't win mvp and then lose in the first round it's only happened a few times in history it won't happen again but we do get some lower seats here that's that denver nuggets team that's that steph curry jason tatum team and steph curry is averaging it shot two th two threes this game <laughs> in the regular season he only made 100 threes because again they're playing by 90s rules they play by 90s play style man it's just it's the reality of the situation. If y'all like this, we got to do the opposite. We're going to take the top 10 players from the 90s and put them in the 2024 and see how MJ would do if he had space in. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we do see a sweep. Um, we see a five-game series where Tatum and, and Seth Curry get eliminated. And we get a three and a four and a five and a seven. So this is an unconventional finals run for whoever make it. So it's Indiana versus Seattle. It is Gary Payton, Ricky Pierce, we don't see... Oh, this is Luka. Luka. If Luka wins finals MVP, then he really put on for the 2024s. There's one for Luka. There's not a win. There's two for Luka. There's three for Luka. Oh, Luka, don't choke the 3-1 lead. Don't choke the 3-1 lead. We got to simcast it. We got to simcast it. Luka, do not choke the 3-1 lead. And it looks like they will. Wow. The 90s is just more well put together. Now... The 90s teams, this team, this 90s uh, Sonics team, they're put together. Remember, the Pacers just won the lottery. So this team was really bad last year, and Luka, just adding Luka, made them into a finals team. So that's all I really got to say. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all I got to say. Wow. The rules are really making it. This is year two Shaquille O'Neal. Over year two Luka, over year two Braun, Jokic, Giannis, so on and so forth. C Webb's rookie of the year, Bimbo wins. Man, this is all Shaq just had a ridiculous season. Um, all NBA team sees two current, three current, four current, five current. It has been very consistent. Dang, Lionel Simmons makes an all NBA team. I was unfamiliar with your game. 
This has been all 90s the whole time so far, y'all. The whole time. Now, we again, we might have to do the reverse of this this um, this experiment by putting them in the 2024s, but man, they have dominated so far. Let's see if one of our 90s players make it to the conference finals. Let's see if we get, we get Bulls in the conference finals versus the Cavs. The Cavs don't have anybody. And then Seattle versus Portland. I don't think these teams have anybody either. These are just the regular, regular 90s teams. Maybe Steph Curry and MR are having a tough time adjusting. The Bulls cannot make it to the finals, but instead it's Clyde again for the second time in three years. Y'all, I'm going to give it a few more tries. But maybe these 2000 kids, ain't they weren't ready for the 90s for real, for real. No, I'm joking. It's just fun. I mean, obviously this is not a real, real experiment, if you will. But it's still fun to see... Um, these players have to adjust. I'm actually surprised that a guy like Giannis hasn't won an MVP award. Or even like Joel or Yoke. Because uh, they don't need... Like, Steph Curry, it makes sense. Because, again, their tendencies do get adjusted once they hit the 90s. They're going to play 90s-style basketball. So, even though Steph Curry's the greatest shooter of all time, you don't think of... The, in 1994, they're not going to have him playing like that. But Giannis is a freight train. So, I would still expect him to do his stuff. I would still ex ex um, expect Joel Embiid to do his stuff. Or even Jokic. That passing is, traverses every single era, if you ask me. But it hasn't been them. It's been Clyde. It's been Shaq. Shaq holding it down again. Oh, man. I just want... I want to see... Um, oh, wait. Oh, there's two. Yeah, it's really just Luka and Giannis that are doing great stuff. And Giannis' numbers aren't even incredible. Nobody's numbers is going to be... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, Shaq and Clyde Drexler and I mean Lucas numbers are carrying Lucas type of player that could go across every um, era and still dominate I'm actually surprised Giannis's numbers are just 20 21 points per he's still got the same shot Tennessee get to the basket Tennessee all of that so it's not translated very well and Michael Jordan he don't even he ain't even become the GOAT he hasn't become the GOAT if anything Clyde Drexler been the GOAT he, he making second teams behind Luka Doncic. I mean, his numbers are insane, though. It's not like it's because of that. Um, his teams aren't as good, I would assume. This third team has all 90s players. Like, hello? How, like, seriously, though. Hello, Jason Tatum? LeBron, uh, LeBron might have retired already, low-key. Jason Tatum, LeBron, you know, those players. Y'all can't make all NBA teams over, the, over this? Over this guy right here? With his 16 points? No, let me double check something. Bron is probably gone. I probably missed the LeBron retirement, right? Um, yeah, Bron is gone. But Kevin is still here. Kevin is averaging 18. Tatum is here. He's averaging 22. Um, I guess it has been a lot. It's a lot of guards and a bunch of centers. Anthony Davis. Then you got um, you got Embiid. You got Yoke. Yoke's numbers are 24, 8, and 8. And that's got him on three All-NBA teams. Joel Embiid has not made an All-NBA team. Because, again, it's a, it's a league full of centers, and Shaq is winning two MVPs. Shaq not even close to the highest overall center. He's only a 91 before the boost. And he's putting up these type of stats. Anthony Davis is 15 and 9. Come on, AD. You ain't won no award other than an All-Rookie. Oh, he's two-time All-Star? All right, AD. But, like, no awards. No awards. That boy Jordan can't even get out of the first round. Man. I don't know what's going on with you, MJ. I, would, I expect a little bit more from the GOAT. Um, but another, oh, Giannis, yes. So Giannis versus Shaq is actually a really good matchup here. So that's what we're looking at. And then the other side don't got anything. So we Giannis versus Shaq. It is 2-0 Shaquille Lo Shaq with a 43 and 15. I'm sorry, they're not stopping that, man. Yeah, yeah. Giannis just had a stinky game where he fouled out in 30 minutes and only had eight points. Shaq is just the most dominant of all time. There we go. If you ask Shaq, well, he can't beat Sean Kemp, I guess. If you ask Shaq, um... What NBA player reminds him most of him? He's going to say Giannis. So it is cool to see them go against each other in that series right there. But it is, again, all Shaquille O'Neal. I'll give it another year. Luka, it's like the only chance they got to win an MVP award. That's the only chance they got. Shaq is an absolute monster. I, I, this is kind of making me want to do a Shaquille O'Neal career, career sim. Because there's no way he's averaging 30 in this era. I mean, well, he's playing... How many minutes per game? 30, 40 minutes per game. But I don't care. That don't matter. He's averaging 30 and 14 with zero made threes, obviously, and only making half of his free throws. Most dominant ever. I've said it. I always say it. He's the most dominant ever. Um, we do still. Oh, M Michael Jordan. Welcome to all NBA first team, buddy. It's been a minute since we've seen you. But it's Luka. It is Giannis. And there's Shea. Um, I just, I'm actually so very surprised 
you are making all NBA. Is the wing of the the wings of the nineties that bad? That rookie Joe Smith is making it, and you're you're actually making it over um over our guy Jason T like our guy Jason Tatum. He just doesn't exist. He just doesn't exist. I guess Tatum averaged nineteen. It's just not enough. Wow, 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 wow. I'm just I'm just at a loss. Overall, when you look at the wings of this era. Small forwards have Scotty, Larry, jo so it's a 92, then a drop off to 80 something. Um, and then power forwards got a lot, like a lot of 90 plus. KD still ain't made one. Um, uh, Jason ain't made one. But yeah, that wing position's tough. There's really no shooting guards outside of Clyde and then Mike in the 90 overall club. Point guards got a lot. You know, we got a decent amount of 90s that's hitting now with the with the little boost. And then a the center position. This is the deepest the center position has ever looked. So making an all NBA team as a center is actually dope because you're going against ridiculous teams every time. Um, and that's why JoJo has zero, even though he's an all-star. He's been a three, four-time all-star. He's made the all-star game every single year we've simulated so far. But he's never made an all-NBA team. Anthony Davis, three-time all-star. Three out of four years, he's made the all-star game, but he's never made an all-NBA team because it's still positions, right? 1990, 1994, still had positions. It wasn't until 2024 that position list became a thing. Also, the Bulls lost in the first round again to the Pistons. It's just they got their number. Um, Orlando is who again? Giannis. Okay, Giannis versus old Dominic Wilkins. Then Houston has C Web. Oh my god, they drafted C Web and they already had a king. Sheesh. Um, and then it's uh, Jason Kidd, Vin Baker, and Dan the Man. They also got Will Purdue. But overall, um, it's not the teams that we, we wanted to see. I'm just confused on the Denver Nuggets. Oh. Oh, Curry's gone. That makes a little bit more sense now. Uh, he retired last season. But even before that, even before, no, even before that, J Jason Tatum and, and Steph Curry, who's again is a 95 and Jason Tatum's a 94, that team what, made the playoffs once together? Or if they made it more than once, I ain't seen them advance out of the first round more than once. It's just, it's just disappointing. That's the word. It's just disappointing. All those rats for all them guards. Allen Iverson stepped into the scene, man. Al Knives just stepped into the scene. It's a wrap for all these guards out here that think they's making all NBA. Now, now this year, ooh, ooh, okay, hold on. 30 year old Shay, 30 year old Luca making all NBA teams over some of the other guys. Um, like MJ, <laughs> MJ. Um, but yeah, oh, y Yoke is there again, but that's pretty much it. All right, all right, all right. I would say overall, this was a failure of an experiment. Even though those, those 2024 players came in with the higher overalls in the entire league, None of them made a real big impact. None of them have made an NBA championship or won an NBA championship. None of them won an MVP award. None of them won a DPOY. None of them overtook the real genuine people when it comes to all NBA appearances. The 90s ball was dedicated for the 90s players. This is my take on it all. That era was built for the players that played in it. This era was built for the players that play here. And you saw that in today's video. Yeah, I believe that all of those players can traverse and adjust accordingly, but you get what I'm saying? Leave a like, subscribe. We are not done with the 90s, man. 